Praise be to God for the holy season of Advent. Come thou long expected Jesus, born to set thy people free from our fears and sins release us let us find our rest in thee israel's strength and consolation hope of all the earth thou art dear desire of every nation joy of every longing heart Born thy people to deliver, born a child and yet a king, born to reign in us forever. Now thy gracious kingdom bring, by thine own eternal spirit, rule in all our hearts alone. By thine all sufficient merit, raise us to thy glorious throne. Praise the Lord, my friends. We find ourselves here in the midst of these holy days, and is it important to know what these days are purposed for, their significance? and what they offer to us and that's why i wanted to share with you the second reading from the office of readings this morning from a pastoral letter by saint charles barameo bishop he was a great bishop god bless that guy man there's nothing sweeter nothing more beautiful nothing more more beneficial for us than a holy bishop that's the greatest blessing that the people of god could experience and so we thank the lord for such a great bishop even though he was so many years ago he continues to speak and to instruct and admonish us according to the truth to god this excerpt is titled the season of advent beloved now is the acceptable time spoken of by the spirit the day of salvation peace and reconciliation the great season of advent and that's why we have to always remember it was the lord himself that said now is the acceptable time now is the day of salvation and it's true that there is an urgency to our time. This time is critical to us and it's critical in salvation history. And this is our time. And that's why we have to be solicitous to the things of the Lord. To put in order to the house of God. To make straight the way of the Lord. These are very, very... Uh, important realities for you to be able to understand lest you be lost this is the time eagerly awaited for by the patriarchs and the prophets the time that holy simeon rejoiced at last to see you remember the words of simeon when he held the christ child the savior born unto us he raised his face to heaven and he said lord now you may let your servant go in peace for my own eyes have seen the salvation of the world and this was after he had gone the whole of his life every single day to the temple looking for the promised messiah amazing now is the acceptable time now is the salvation the day of salvation this is the season that the church has always celebrated with special solemnity. We too should always observe it with faith and love, offering praise and thanksgiving to the Father 
for the mercy and the love He has shown to us in this mystery. And as I told you, the most important thing is that we renew our life to God sacramentally. That means to go to the Holy Confession. I admonish you to go to confession and write soon. And there is never excuse for us to be long delayed in going to confession. It should be that we regularly go. Blessed the wisdom of the person who goes to confession weekly. And if a priest tells you, you don't need to come that often, you tell him, sit down and do your job, Father. <laughs> tell him. Because he will be accountable to God for that. And especially priests of these days for the lack of solicitude to God's people. They'll be held to pay for that one. Go to the Holy Confession. Renew your life in the mystery of the mercy of the Lord and His infinite love for us. Though we are sinners, He sent His only Son to free us from the tyranny of Satan and to summon us to heaven, to welcome us to its inmost recesses. We are made to know the intimacies of the kingdom of heaven and to be there. We are made to, to experience the fullness of what is beyond our capacity to even imagine. That's why we have to be deeper than just what's in front of our face. That's why we have to be people of faith. People who lay down our own crowns in submission to the King of Kings. He came to summon us to the kingdom of heaven, to train us in right conduct, to exercise. You know, I see people who go to the gym all the time because they want to make themselves look beautiful to the world, even, they, even though they are beyond that. Every single human person has their flaws that can neither be covered up, nor hidden, nor a facade put over. We will never be able to to, uh, you know, make our own way. We are not God. But rather, the human person should do spiritual exercises. Yes, we should do physical exercises. The body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. But there are most people, many and most people, do it for absolutely the wrong reasons. And He came to enrich us with the treasures of His grace. Nothing is more beautiful than to be in intimacy of relationship to God Himself, the Holy Spirit. His gifts are surpassing. And ultimately, He came to make us heirs to God, to eternal life. That's why we always have to consider to our end, which is the kingdom of heaven. That's our destination point. And if we follow a GPS to something else, it's always going to take us off the path. And very likely we will not arrive at the end of our destination to which we were made. Each year, the church recalls this mystery and she urges us to renew the memory of the great love God has shown to us. To even amidst the, the abuses of the world, the hardships of the world that tend to harden the human heart, the church reminds us to love God, to the great love that God has shown to us. This holy season teaches us that Christ's coming was not only for the benefit of His contemporaries, His power has still to be communicated to all of us. He shall share His power if through holy faith and the sacraments we willingly accept the grace Christ earned for us. It all depends on us. It's according to our disposition. It's according to the mode of the receiver to receive the fullness of the gift. Because the gift is always in its fullness. We receive according to our disposition to receive. 
And the church asks us to understand that Christ who came once in the flesh is prepared to come again. That's why there's an apocalyptical aspect to Advent. That's what I was explaining to you yesterday. It's ordered to the end things, to the fulfillment of things, the parousia. I hope that you can understand that and that you can prepare well. When we remove all the obstacles to His presence, He in fact will come to us. And the hour and the moment, we do not know when will he, that He will come in the fullness of His glory, but He will come right quickly, now, if we put ourselves in this position and open the doors of our heart to Him. He is the one who knocks. Will you give Him entrance? That's the question. In her concern for our salvation, our loving Mother, the Church, uses this holy season to teach us through hymns. And it's beautiful to sing hymns. I just sang to you that one, even though I'm not that good a singer. <laughs> Although I love to sing, to give praise to God with voice. And I hope that you do as well. Follow in the way of the church. Through canticles and other forms of expression. You hear the emergency vehicles? The time is upon us. You don't have time to waste. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the day of salvation. Sing to the Lord with voice or ritual used by the Holy Spirit. She shows us how grateful we should be for so great a blessing and how to gain its benefit. Our hearts should be as much prepared for the coming of Christ as if He were still to come into this world, and in fact He is. What are you talking about, St. Charles Borromeo? <laughs> he is coming. Of course you know that. He came and He is to come. The same lesson is given to us for our imitation by the words and the examples of the holy men of the Old Testament. We love you very much. Seize upon the grace of this moment. Discipline yourself. Humble yourself. Go to the Holy Confession. Go and renew your devotion in the Holy Covenant, the body and blood of Christ, and will yourself to follow according to the precepts, decrees, commandments, and laws of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you and your family on this holy Advent season. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Adios. Bye.